Hi, everyone. Hope you're having a nice Monday on this dry day after a very windy day. I'm Chief Meteorologist for ABC Monica Woods and bringing you an update on the big changes that we're going to be seeing just in time for that holiday forecast and travel. We're talking big travel problems. Snow down to about 1,500 feet. It's going to be messy heading into the holiday. I know so many of you are traveling north and south, even east over towards the mountains and then over the hill, perhaps into Nevada. So uh, want to make sure you're prepared. Number one thing I would bring if you are traveling anywhere above 2,000 feet, bring the chains. We're going to be seeing snow levels down to about 1,500 feet in some locations. So yeah, it may not be a white Christmas, but we could have a white Thanksgiving. Okay, so we've got a lot of people joining. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that uh, I can provide you some weather updates here. Want to head you over to our weather computer. This is the storm right now. Isn't that surprising how far it is out of the region? Um, it's way in the Gulf of Alaska right now. It's going to be a quick moving storm that comes through. So this is the storm that's moving in right here. It, I know it's really, really far from California right now, but we're talking rain, snow, wind, and much colder. And I'm talking temperatures down into the 40s for highs in the valley. This is a really good synopsis of what we're going to be seeing, and I hope this lays it out real easily for you. Um, tomorrow morning, we actually start off with sunshine, and then we start to see light rain and snow just after noon. After that point, it's going to be getting heavier. So Tuesday evening into Wednesday, that's when the big brunt of the storm starts to move through. Wind, rain, snow, snow down to 1,500 feet, as you can see here. This is going to be that Tuesday evening through Wednesday time frame. Thanksgiving, just a chance of showers, but we could see some thunderstorms, okay? And then Friday, showers, but that's mainly going to be south of Highway 50. Okay, uh, Elaine's saying she still can't hear me. Hmm, I think everybody else has got the audio fixed, Elaine. So I hope, oh, Ramona's saying no audio either. Um, hmm, okay, I think, uh, yeah, so maybe just uh, fiddle, fiddle with the volume there, and I think we should be okay. Um, okay, so let's talk about uh, first, and I, and I will absolutely get to, oh, uh, let's see. They changed this winter storm warning. So let me let me just go and do this. There we go. I just had to change the timing. Sorry about that. On the fly. Uh, winter storm warning. It's going to go into effect Tuesday morning, last through 4 p.m. for places just north of I-80 and south of Highway 50. But the northern Sierra, we're going to take this all the way through Thursday. Heavy snow travel impacts. This is going to be a major deal. The other major deal. Look at this. Look at these snow levels. We start off around 3,000 feet tomorrow. It's all the way down to roughly 1,500 feet overnight Wednesday through early Thursday. All right. That's going to be the time frame that we're looking at right there. Now, let me play this out for you. As I mentioned, this is going to be a quick moving storm. Okay, so we're going to be getting snow that's going to be moving in quick, rain that's going to be moving in quick. We start the day off tomorrow with dry weather, mostly sunny skies. It'll be a cold start to the day, but the real big storm starts to move in tomorrow night. So as we're talking right now at 713 on this uh, Monday evening, tomorrow at this time, we're going to be talking about rain in the valley, heavy at times, and snow for parts of the foothills, but primarily for the Sierra, okay? So now I'm gonna switch this back around and we'll get going on the weather model and how it is forecasting this to all come in. So here we are, and uh, just for your reference, here's the day and time. Here's the low that we're gonna be tracking. And then we start to take it in. And look at this, by three o'clock, it is rain straight over towards the Bay Area, snow, along 80 and 50, okay, for the Tahoe Basin in particular, north of I-80, south of Highway 50, kind of a little bit slower to get going along 88, 89, Highway 4 and 120. But it, it's, it's going to get there, and once it gets there, it's going to keep going. Now, 7 o'clock, between uh, about 6, 7 o'clock, that could be some of the heaviest rain that we're seeing. Let me just back this up for a moment. So here we are at 6 o'clock. 
And you can see some of this heaviest rain starting to move on through. Here is the snow for the Sierra. And I'm going to zoom this in in just a moment. But first, I, I just wanted to show you the timeline here. A little breaking up on Tuesday evening, but then we get that chance of thunderstorms coming through. Uh, here is a look at the totals. Anywhere from about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch of rain in the valley. About an inch or so of rain for the lower foothills. But here is some of the projections for how much snow we'll see for some of those lower foothills. Uh, I see that Kim saying, Grass Valley, pl snow, please. Yeah, we could see about five inches of snow, uh, Kim, in Grass Valley. Jackson, mm, probably closer to about four inches, roughly. I think, I think some of these numbers are slightly overstated. North of that, we could see uh, oh, about a foot or so of snow for Quincy, Portola, Gray Eagle. Um, it, it's, it's going to be quite a change from what we're seeing, right? Okay, so now just bear with me for a moment because what I wanted to do here is I actually want to go into the editing of this graphic and I want to get a little bit closer on when the rain and snow arrive so I can zoom in. Oops, sorry about that. So I can zoom in and show you. Sorry for the bumpiness here. Uh, so I can show you exactly what we're talking about for snow. Here it is uh, about 2.30. And I'm going to adjust the camera so we can see some of these cities that are popping them up. So just above Placerville and Auburn, we'll be seeing a slushy mix here. But it's snow from Pollock Pines, Forest Hill, Grass Valley, obviously for Blue Canyon. Uh, Greenville, Oroville is going to be a very cold rain. Uh, Laporte is going to be getting some snow as well as Lake Almanor and Chester. Uh, looking south of Highway 50, Arnold with snow. Now, Sonora, I think you're going to get in on some of that snow, as will Jackson. Let me go ahead and uh, let me just go ahead and set this key point here, and let's see when that starts to come in. Okay, here we go. Now we're starting to see some of these places. Let's see. Okay, so roughly Tuesday evening. These are some of the places that will be getting some of the snow. Okay, so this is going to be Tuesday evening. Sonora, Murphy's, Arnold, Jackson. Again, we already talked about Pollock Pines, Placerville likely getting some snow. Again, just up the hill from Auburn, but Grass Valley getting in on some of the snow. And uh, excuse me, I hope this works. I'm in low power mode right now. So I'm going to try to plug in this phone, see if it works here. <laughs> Oh no, let's see. Hold on. Okay, it's going to, okay, there we go. Um, all right, so traveling north again, all this is falling as snow, and this will be Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning. Now, there's not a whole lot of moisture left behind, but I, I, I still feel pretty confident that we will get some of that snow moving in. Uh, let's see. Is it any wanted to know about Modesto? Yeah, Modesto is getting some rain, and it could be uh, it could be pretty good as we head into our Tuesday evening, about eight o'clock or so for Modesto, and Stockton with some of that heavier rain. Uh, okay, so that is all that we're seeing here as this weather system moves in. Um, let me go to some of these some of these uh, emails here or some of the messages. Okay, let me exit out of this. I don't want to save this because that would be interesting as we looked at, uh, let's see, the 11 o'clock news. Okay, let me see what we've got for questions, if anybody has any questions here. Um, don't forget to move your, oh, uh, Jason's saying, don't forget to move your patio furniture in and take down any canvas canopy covers. Uh, Alexandra wanting to know about Diamond Springs. Uh, it looks like that will likely be a wet snow, but let me check on the timing for Diamond Springs um, because I know that's going to be on the cusp of not 100% sure what elevation that is. So let me let me just look here. It's right around Placerville. So I think I think I think probably around 10 o'clock or so Diamond Springs could see some uh, see some snow showers again uh, late tomorrow night. 
Uh, what about Citrus Heights? Yeah, Citrus Heights, Susan, we're going to be getting the rain right about roughly 4 o'clock or so. Here's the timeline again for those of you that may have missed it. We start off dry, but here we go. Right, up, Well, it could be, yeah, about 2.30, 3 o'clock should be seeing that rain move through. So that, that's what it's looking like for tomorrow. Uh, any lightning in El, El Grove? Jennifer wanting to know. Yeah, this is the deal with that. Here's the timeline. This will help to put this into perspective. Uh, Thanksgiving Day, we'll have a slight chance of thunderstorms as we will Wednesday. So Wednesday might have a couple of things popping in the valley as well. Uh, Virginia saying he really heavy rin winds in Barstow. Yeah. Uh, Pollock Pines totals. Let me see. I think I might have Pollock Pines on this one. Oh, no, I have Placerville. So Pollock Pines, I think, I think we're going to be closer to around 10 inches possibly. But again, that's pot possibly a little overstated. But let me check one of my weather models here. You'll have to hang with me for just a moment, but I will hopefully get you that answer. Just takes me a second. Um, what about Manteca in on the rain? Manteca in Modesto will be not too far after, let's see here. Yeah, it should be around three o'clock. Should be around three o'clock. Uh, uh, lovely wanted to know about Stockton. Yeah, Stockton, uh, right about 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon as well. We'll start getting that rain in the valley. And could see, by the time we get to Thursday morning, mm, about a half an inch or so. Uh, Pollock Pines totals for snow. Let me see this hourly. I know I'm still trying to answer that for you. Uh, let's see. We'll want to get Pollock Pines totals for snow. Let's see if Oh, yeah, we could buy tom uh, tomorrow, not much. I'll be honest with you. Tomorrow's not like huge accumulations, but Wednesday, looking pretty good to get upwards of 10 inches of snow. So, oh my goodness. Um, let's see. Do you know of any warm spots in Sacramento County for tomorrow? Well, it'll start off nice. It's just that it gets nasty during the afternoon, as you can see here, Jennifer. Uh, what about the pass tomorrow afternoon? Well, this is what the passes are looking like tomorrow afternoon, Susan. So three o'clock, ugh, kind of kind of gross. Uh, let's see, Artily, uh, Jackson is going to start with rain tomorrow, and then it will turn over to snow, uh, possibly really early Wednesday morning. Could see a light dusting tomorrow night. So, Big Bear getting snow. Uh, Big Bear probably getting snow. This this whole system, I want to want to give you a heads up because this is going to be all affecting the entire state. So tomorrow, as this moves in, obviously if you're headed northbound on I-5, just get ready. Bring the chains. Uh, you'll need them going up into Oregon tomorrow, and then this will all move through the valley Tuesday night. So Tuesday tomorrow is still dry for Southern California. If you're traveling south tomorrow is not a bad day to do so at all. Wednesday, a different story. You can see there's snow starting to move its way down 395 all the way into parts of the central and southern Sierra. And finally getting into uh, LA area on Wednesday midday through the afternoon. Uh, travel along I-5 kind of hit and miss there as you head into our Wednesday and then uh, starting to clear out just a bit late Wednesday but uh, this year really <laughs> really not getting much of relief at all. Um, oh Jennifer oh yeah 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 for sure uh, warm spots for homeless. I'm not sure about what uh, warming centers are going to be open um, I think there's a threshold, but I, I, I can certainly check on that and see if we can get an update for you. Uh, what's the projected amounts of rain up Highway 50? Well, Damon, honestly, it's going to be more snow. Um, because you can see here, we're going to be seeing about, especially along Highway 50, uh, for Evitz Pass, Echo. Uh, some, some of those are, are probably going to be closed, though. 
uh, just because of the amount of snow, they sometimes um, will close those. So Highway 50 will be getting about 20 inches, but at some of the passes, uh, anywhere from two to three feet of snow. Um, oh, hey, Anthony. You remember meeting me in high school. Yeah, I'm still around. Yep. Uh, Susan, hopefully you got that answer about Citrus Heights. Uh, starting to see the rain right about 3 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, I think that's the right one. Did I call up the right one? Yeah. Uh, so right around 3 o'clock. Uh, what's it like for SAC? Roseville. My friends are heading back from Taiwan after Thursday night. Wow. Oh, later Thursday night. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, so they're probably flying into San Francisco, maybe SAC. Uh, Stockton, Skip, yeah, right about 3 o'clock we're going to be getting the rain. Uh, Sarah, just to address your question, uh, right about, let's see, yeah, about 2.30 we'll be getting some rain. Uh, if they're heading in from San Francisco, it's going to be rain all the way on I-80 uh, Tuesday afternoon. So, um Cameron Park, if we'll get more than an inch of rain. Uh, Cameron Park, uh, ooh, you're going to be getting close there, Damon, to an inch. And Susan, I met at the California State Fair a long time ago. Yeah, Susan, yeah, we were out at the State Fair, it seemed like, every day for a long time. Uh, okay, so I think that's uh, pretty much the update that we have here. Uh, we will be updating, obviously, throughout the course of this storm, but as well as on the LNT. That's at 11 o'clock tonight. But I thank you so much for joining me here on Facebook on this Monday evening before the big storm arrives. Uh, and we'll see you on the LNT at 11. All right, take care. Have a good one.